Hey friends, today I want to talk about Astra starter sites. So in the last video, I showed you how to install the Astra theme and an Astra child theme. And you are totally good to go from here if you want to customize your site however you want it to look, you know, to be, to look like, whatever. However, Astra also has some other options for some pre-built sites and pre-designed sites that are really nice as well. So if you go to the WP Astra site and you click here on starter sites, You'll notice that they have a ton of ready to import websites. Now, some of these are paid, so you'll see this little yellow agency designation here, but you can search for free sites if you choose this option here under free. So sometimes what people will do is they will look through these and say, well, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dental clinic, I'm not an organic store. I encourage you to look at the design and not so much the content. You'll be filling in with your own content. So if you like the design, then by all means, uh, pick it even if it's for a nutritionist or a dental clinic and so on. So before you go back over to your site and install any of these, I definitely encourage you to open them, open any that kind of catches your eye. So for example, this life coach one, I can click quick view and it takes me to a full on demo. So I can see that I have a uh, logo here. I have a navigation. I have a nice hero. I have, you know, kind of like a little bit about this person, um, some services, how to work with them, and kind of a nice footer here as well. So look at each one of the pages, and if you think that this would work for you in terms of the pages that they have, uh, in terms of the layout and the design, then by all means we can we can install that and get that going for you. So look through these. There's another one that I like down here. And click load more. I think there's maybe 20 or so. And some of these will also have WooCommerce installed. So for example, this one. And you can tell that just based on this little cart right here um, and that they have an option for store. So I would probably shy away from the ones that had a store if you don't have a store, which you might not, um, you know, if, if you're here but you can just remove that and just choose not to use it. So that, that's an option as well. So if you really did like this layout, you could, you could go with this. Um, so some really nice ones here. I like this outdoor adventure one. This technician one is nice. This coach one is pretty nice too. So, so many you can look through. So let's just look at this coach one really quickly. So again, logo, nav, nice hero image, some other logos. Um, what I do is these are my services, some testimonials, some social proof, little story, and a nice call to action. And then I can look at some of these other pages. So nice about page. with some testimonials here, well, maybe a little bit more on services. So that's a nice one. And then I think I'm gonna install this uh, outdoor adventure. So once I pick the one that I want, so I look through all of these, I look through the demos, I really, I really settled on one. Um, then we can go back here and we'll go to Astra options. And then on the right side here, we have to install the importer plugin. So there's a plugin that will pull in the site that we want. So we'll install that plugin just by clicking on that link. And then we'll see the same sites that we saw before. So we'll click free. And I'm looking for the outdoor adventure site. Now it also, the first time you install this, it will ask you which page builder. And because I've done this before, as I was running through practicing for this video, um, I had picked Elementor before. So make sure that you choose that. So Outdoor Adventure is right here and we'll click on this. And if you have imported a site previously, you can check delete previously imported site. Okay, so we'll click import site and it takes a little bit of time and so I'll just pause this really quickly so that you don't have to watch me wait. And once everything finishes, you should see this done message and you can click to view the site. Now, if you're running on pair, there's some caching that happens. So if you refresh the page, 
you should see everything. Ah, ta-da! How exciting! So here is where we would customize with our logo. We would customize with our options here at the top, our colors, our fonts, our background, our message as well. So our quote or our testimonial, some of our events that are upcoming, um, our images here in the back, we would remove this guy because, you know, he's not our guy and our messages and so on. So we can look at all of the different pages and we can make changes as needed. So let's just take a look around and see what happened. If you look under media, you'll see that all of the images from that site have been imported. So all of the images. So as we replace these images with our own, we will upload our items and our photos to the media library. So we would click add new and add all of our own photos. And then when we go into each page, we can swap those photos out. So that's the first thing we would do. I'm not sure if there are any posts in this one. Uh, there are, there are some posts here and we would just add our own new posts and then we would go back and, and trash these existing posts. One thing that is nice to do is kind of just look at these and see how they are done. So for example, we're gonna right click on this and click view. We'll just kind of get a feel for what this post look like. Post looks like. So we have title, um, comment, we have a nice image here, some text and so on. And then if we go back to this tab, we can click edit and we can see, here's our title, we can close this, here's our title, here's our first paragraph, we have some columns here, we have a quote, and a last paragraph there. So it's nice to just see how things are working. Another thing I like to do is I will change, I didn't make any changes, so I'll just click leave. I like to change these to draft, that way if I ever need to go back to them, I still have them there instead of totally trashing them. So if you do a quick edit, you can change status to draft and that will keep it on your site so that you can look at it and refer to it, but it doesn't show on the front end of your site because obviously this isn't your post, so you don't want this showing on the front end of your site. We'll look under pages. And these are the pages that it has created for us. So we'll do the same sort of thing. We can right click and view in a new tab. And so we have here are our services, we have a nice image there, time to start your adventures, have some columns and so on, and here. So if we wanted to make changes to this, we would edit this with Elementor. And you'll see that it says Elementor right next to all of the pages where Elementor is used. So edit with Elementor. Now the Elementor page builder loads, got it. And here we can make changes. So if we didn't want this to say, it's time to start your adventures, we would say, this is my new text here. Now again, it's easiest to just replace the text in the images. However, if you need to delete something or move something around, you can do that too. So for example, if we only had two, one, two, services, we could delete this entire row like this. Now, another thing I like to do, if you click on this, uh, these little six dots right here, you can also hide this section. So if you click on responsive, we can hide this where we can still see it on the back end, but we won't be able to see it on the front end. So again, we would go in here, we would change any of our text, we would swap out our own photos, fill all this in and then click update. Now, because we have this open in a new tab here, we would just refresh the page and you'll see this is my new text. Notice those other two are hidden. So they're still there just in case we need them until we're totally secure and firm in that we don't need any more than two, um, but we, we hid them for now. So we would do the same thing for the other pages. So if you click here and go back to exit to dashboard, you'll be able to get back to your other pages. So let's go to all pages and look at the contact page. So we'll edit with Elementor and then again, I like to have this open in another tab here. So this is the contact page. We're ready, let's talk and the contact info. 
Now it looks like, so we're looking for WP forms and I don't see a form right here. So this isn't going to be a perfect process. So we will have to probably debug here and there, you know, some little things. So we'll have to figure out why the form isn't showing there and then go back and, you know, add it in. So that is one thing we definitely will have to do. Other things you might want to do, you know, you might not want to list your email address if you are having a form. You might not want to list or you might not have a physical address, you know, for yourself or your business. Um, and you might not want to list your phone number or you might want to. We would also have to figure out why these social icons are not showing correctly. So um, this gets us, you know, better than maybe if we had started from scratch, but we still will have to go in, make our own changes, you know, and tweaks and clean up and things like that. You know, we would want to change this, this image here as well. So these are Astra starter sites. If you want to go this route, um, I think it's a really, really great way to go. You can, again, also just start from Astra and make your own changes. And I'm thinking about doing another video on how one would do that. So if you have any questions, just let me know. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. Okay, thanks so much for being here.